Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry. Today I'm going to explain the reactivity of organometallic compound in which if alkyl group is different with same metal. In my previous video I explained that if same alkyl group with different metal then what should be the reactivity of organometallic compound. Now in this video I'm going to explain if your metals are same but your hydrocarbon parts going to change then how you will predict the reactivity of the organometallic compound right so for this take this some general example of the alkyl group same type of metals like r1 li r2 li r3 li and r4 li so when you will check these organometallic compound in which r1 r2 r3 r4 are different then you will find that metals are same so meaning is that electropositive nature of all the metals in all the organometallic compound become same so meaning is that effect of these metals are same right so these metal will generate the what same positive charge and same negative charge on the alkyl group so metal is the what electropositive in nature but here electropositive nature becomes what constant so here we can say that the reactivity of organometallic compound is not proportional is not proportional to the what electropositive nature of metal clear so here what should be the reactivity parameter so here the reactivity of organometallic compound will be directly proportional to the what polarity of carbon and metal bond which is proportional to the what electronegativity difference of cm bond so we can say that the reactivity of organometallic compound is inversely proportional to the what carbonion stability why because these organometallic compound will generate the carbonion the reactivity of this organometallic compound will depend upon the what only on the what carbonion stability so what is the conclusion now that as the stability of carbonion increases right so the reactivity of organometallic compound will decrease right so with the decrease of stability of carbonion the reactivity will increase this is your what stability of carbonion suppose this is your what reactivity of organometallic compound so when the stability of carbonion increases then the reactivity of organometallic compound will decreases and when the stability of this carbonion will decrease then the reactivity of organometallic compound will decrease so we will try to understand this theory with the help of some example let us take the one example example number 1 out of alkyl lithium that is ethyl lithium c2 h5 li and benzyl lithium c6 h5 ch2 li which one is more reactive and why if we have to justify it, then how we will justify it so first of all what we will do we will ionize this one then we will get the what this ethyl carbonion and here we will get the what benzyl carbonion so what we know that in this case the stability of the organometallic compound depends upon the what stability of carbonion so when you will check the stability of carbonion then you will find that the c2h5 ethyl carbonion is less stable than the what c6 h5 ch2 minus why because this is having the what resonance because of this resonance there is what delocalization of the this negative charge and because of this delocalization stability of this one will increase right so what is the reactivity order now so al uh, alkyl lithium that is what ethyl lithium the reactivity of ethyl lithium c2 h5 li will be more than the what reactivity of benzyl lithium take one more example example number two suppose you are having ph ch2 li then biphenyl ch li then triphenyl cli this is your what a b and c which one is more reactive so for this we will check the what again the stability of this anion so when you will ionize this one 
then what you will get ph ch2 minus anion diphenyl ch minus anion and triphenyl c minus anion so this phenyl groups nothing it is your what benzyl this is what aromatic part so here one aromatic ring is there so this negative charge will de delocalize in one ring here two aromatic rings are there so this negative charge will delocalize in two aromatic ring or benzene ring here three benzene rings are there so this negative charge will delocalize in the three benzene ring so finally you will find that the stability of this carbon ion so you will find that this triphenyl carbon ion is more stable than the word diphenyl carbon ion and this is more stable than the word monophenyl carbon ion so what is the what order of reactivity of organometallic compound so a will be more reactive than the b than the c so what is the order of stability of organometallic compound a will be less stable than the b than the c right take the one more example for this one example number 3 as for example we are having the what ethyl lithium ch3 ch2 li one more compound dimethyl substituted lithium right then again is what ch3 whole 3 c lithium so again when you will ionize this compound then you will find the what carbon ion ch3 ch2 minus this is primary carbon ion this is what ch3 whole 2 ch minus secondary carbon ion this is what ch3 whole 3 carbon ion which is what tertiary carbon ion so when you move when you will check the stability then you will find that here is what only one plus i group here is what two plus i group here is what plus three plus i group so in the case of this one that negative charge density is more but there is no any chance of delocalization of this negative charge so stability of carbon ion you this tertiary carbon ion will be what least stable then the what secondary carbon ion then the what primary carbon ion so what should be the what order of reactivity of organometallic compound so this is the a suppose this is the b this is the c then you can say that c is more reactive than the b than the a by these three example i hope that everyone understood that how that reactivity of organometallic compounds going to govern by the what stability of this hydrocarbon part so thank you very much for more videos please subscribe my channel share